everybody, it's Vanessa here and welcome to My Dyslexic Life. My Dyslexic Life is brought to you by Remarkable Minds and the Truth About Dyslexia course. Check them out at the link. Today I wanted to talk about how our dyslexic brains can get us into a little bit of trouble in meetings and at work. You know, sometimes our brains go so fast, we think that everybody else can see things as quickly as we can, but they don't. Have you ever been in a meeting or um, you know, at work and discussing something with a colleague and your super fast brain, remember dyslexics brains work at around five times faster than neurotypicals, can see the solution or you can see the gap in the process or you can see the problem before the other person has even really started. Well, do you know this is a real talent of ours? But the flip side of that does mean that sometimes we can be so impatient with those around us. Why can't they see it as quickly and simply as we can? And I know many adult dyslexics I've spoken to find this incredibly frustrating because this is a, such a skill of ours to see the to, to problem solve or you know to see the natural conclusion really fast but then when you're actually trying to communicate that with someone else and, and you kind of communicate it too quickly you shut them down no that won't work no you can't do it that way um, why would you do that this is this is how it needs to be you know and the problem is we can say these things so directly and so bluntly and we can almost come across as sometimes a bit arrogant as well. And the thing is, nothing is further from the truth. We're really not. But you've actually got to allow people a time to kind of catch up with your thinking. And, you know, blurting out the obvious, what seems obvious to you, isn't always obvious to everybody else either. And, you know, I've learnt over the years that this is something that I can find really challenging because I'll be sitting in a meeting and we'll be talking about something and I'm already at the end, you know, so I just want to say, well, I don't think we should do that because I've already gone through all the different scenarios in my head. But of course, neurotypical people need to do it in a linear sequence. So for them, they need to go through those steps. So often at work, this can come across as, um, yeah, like I said, a trait that, you know, you can be told you're too direct or you're too blunt. Um, or maybe sometimes, you know, you don't allow people to say what they think. I don't know, it can come across in all sorts of different ways. But I just wanted you to know there is a reason. You know, and that reason is our brains are going so fast and we can see all the different possibilities. Our challenge is to learn a way to communicate that without kind of being that blunt and direct. So, you know, one thing you can say is, okay, all right, so the way my brain works is I've already kind of thought of all of that. Um, so how about this? You know, just actually name what's happening. Because when people understand what's happening and why you're being so direct, it can really help. 